Hey everybody. Yo, yo, yo. So we got a shocker, people. Man, this was unexpected. I am happy we are getting it, man. We got undisputed versus undisputed. We got Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel. Yeah, I said it. Jamel, not Jamal. Jamel Charlo, man. Undisputed versus undisputed. Let's get it. Freaking. It's going to take place Saturday, September 30th. Las Vegas, an unknown venue at the time. We don't know where it's going to, you know. MGM, T, we don't know yet. We know it's going to be on Showtime. We know it's going to be on pay-per-view. We know it's going to be PBC. And Al Heyman, since Canelo Alvarez is at the start of his three-fight deal with PBC after finishing up his five-fight deal with Eddie Hearn and the zone. You know, so, uh, yeah, man, this is a, uh, a hell of a first fight for a deal. It looks like they're going to throw him through the gauntlet. Uh... I heard it was going to be Jamel, you know, if he's a, if he's winning these fights, of course, Jamel, David Benavidez, and Errol Spence, if Errol B. Crawford, of course, I heard that's a lineup for him, so, mm, that's a, uh, <laughs> that's a treacherous lineup to go through, man, Jesus, Canelo make it through that, you can't, you can't throw no salt on his name, you can't say he's not this, he's not that. He's the GOAT. Nah, fuck that. Let me take a step back. Ooh, what the fuck I'm talking about? He's not the GOAT. Floyd is the GOAT. He's a hell of a fighter if he make it through that. Yeah, but not the GOAT. Man, but um, yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be a 12-round contest. I'm not sure which weight it's going to be at. Since Jamel Charlo is the undisputed 154-pound champ. And Canelo Alvarez is undisputed 168-pound champ. I don't know who's going up to take whose belt I don't, well, I don't know if Canelo's going down or Jamel's coming up so our, our, they're going to meet at 160 which would be you know I don't that's highly unlikely you're going to meet there for no belts no so I feel like uh, either somebody's coming up or somebody's going down we shall see alright let's get into it it's Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo Canelo Alvarez is 59 and 2, 2 draws, 39 KOs, 32 years of age. He's orthodox style fighter, stands at 5 foot 8 with a 70 and a half inch reach from Guadalajara, Mexico. He's a four divi division champ um, from 154 to 175 pounds. He was um he unified all of those um well he unified 154 160 168 and um yeah he didn't unify 175 he was actually well he is actually undisputed at 168 though so that's a big feat for canelo alvarez and he's been undisputed since 2021 so canelo alvarez to his opponent, Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo is 35 and 1, 1 draw, 19 KOs. He's orthodox style fighter, stands at 6 foot even with a 73 inch reach. He's from Richmond, Texas. That's what it's saying, but he say from Houston, Texas, born in Louisiana. He's the undisputed 154 pound champ, which he's been since 2022. Oh, man, oh man. It's going to be a hell of a fight, people. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Like I said, I was expecting, and people were saying, like my partners, and I was hearing it through the grapevine. It was going to be Jamal Charlo and Canelo Alvarez. My partner like, bro, why you ain't made a video? Canelo and Jamal. Canelo and, man, have you, where you heard it at? Where you seen it at? I ain't heard it. I ain't seen it. But now it's official, and it's set in stone, man. Jamal, Jamal Charlo and Canelo Alvarez, September 30th, man. Whew. My thoughts on the fight, I feel like it's, like I said, it's going to be a hell of a fight. I feel like, um, Jamel Charlo is not, well, he, he can, he, I see him taking some step backs. I see him trying to box Canelo. He has, you know, I, well, he has a hell of a trainer, trainer of the year last year. So I'm pretty sure he knows Canelo Alvarez struggles 
with uh, foot movement, you know, and boxers who are very athletic. So I presume Derek James would tell him to box more in this fight, you know, and stay on his back foot and, um, you know, move around and just make it hard for Canelo to get in there, you know, and um, Jamel can crack too. So that's, that's crazy. So maybe he can catch Canelo with a, you know, a counter punch when Canelo is, you know, overextending himself or, you know, you never know, man. It might be, uh, it might be a, a quick night, man. It might be a quick night because Jamel Charlo, I feel like he's at the peak and Canelo Alvarez is kind of, you know, uh, I ain't going to say falling off, but he's, I say he's at the back end of his career, man. Uh, yeah, man. Even though fighter, even though both fighters are around the same age, that's crazy. But um, yeah, man, it's gonna be a hell of a fight. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. I feel like uh, quick prediction. I'll say it's gonna be a. Like I said, it can go two ways. Jamel can uh, box and stay on his back foot and use his athleticism, or he can get you know lawed in there into a um, boxing match with Canelo. And I feel like that won't be good for him, man. I feel like Canelo's coming. He's 168 pounder for a reason. You know, if you go up to 168, this is going to be your first fight at 168. And I feel like Canelo can break him down if he's not boxing. And if he's just going there thinking like he's going to do what he was doing at 154, at 168, if the fight is indeed at 168. Um, which I feel, now that I'm thinking about, which I feel like it's, it's going to be. I don't see Canelo moving down. You know, putting himself at that much of a disadvantage when he is the A side. So yeah, I, I fully expect the fight to be at 168. And with the fight being at 168, I don't see Jamel Charlo, you know, brawling with Canelo, fighting him. I see him boxing. Him. You know, but if he does, I see Canelo getting that win. Decides to box him. I see him getting that win. Quick prediction. I say, um. Uh, a unanimous decision win with Jamel Charlo getting that win and becoming undisputed at both weights. You know, double undisputed champion. Oh, uh, shit, man, that's crazy. That'd be a hell of a feat if he can accomplish that. But yeah, man, shit, I wouldn't bet, wouldn't bet my house on it. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. That's my pick, Jamel Charlo. Tune in, man. Tell you. Buy this fight. I don't know who the fuck gonna be on the undercard. It doesn't matter. Buy this fight. But yo, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, people. Rise World of Boxing. Yeah.